Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and totally. Hang on, YSL, like f***ing Wyden. Jesus f***er, okay, I need to change this. Hang on, one second. I sound like f***ing Wyden. Okay, now I changed it back to my normal voice, and uh, yeah, let me repeat it again. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and today I'm going to show you how to properly use the uh, camera path. Now, I know there's some uh, other tutorials you could possibly watch, but um, uh, the thing is, some of them don't actually cover some features that you possibly would really need to know, like cuts between uh, cameras, as well as uh, changing the um, rotation of those cameras. Now, uh, this is going to be covering exactly this, so uh, yeah, I'm going to help you out with uh, uh, those missing features you possibly need uh, to have in... Uh, Let's say you're cinematic or something. Now, first of all, um, there's two types of camera path. It's the live one, which is hard to do, and uh, there is the replay uh, camera path, which is uh, quite uh, easy to do, and it's um, pretty simple. So to do it now, uh, first of all, we need to just uh, pick any car and uh, you know record this stuff. So first of all, you need to pop up the um, replay app. But uh, to do this, you have to go to UI apps, add app, and then you search for um, replay. You can go to, to, to this search uh, bar right here and just type replay and it's going to be here. Uh, once you added the replay app, um, the first thing you need to do is to just record something. So uh, I'm going to drive in this uh, sexy car and um, yeah. I'm good. I'm good to just record the sexy car. Now uh, I think I recorded everything I need, and now all we do is to press the same button, which now is called uh, save recording. Previously it was uh, record, and once we press that, it will show us what we have recorded, and you can check if everything is right for you. And, uh, if it's all right, you can actually stop everything. Now, first of all, do not uh, press the um, close replay. If you did. You go to uh, this button right here, and then you go to the bottom of this, and it will actually see your recent replay. You just press on this, and it will uh, play it. Uh, but because it's already selected for me, I am not going to do anything. Now the next thing you should to do is to press F11, which is going to open up the world editor. Uh, it takes a bit while. Okay, here we go. And uh, the next thing you have to do is to go up the screen and. Um, and you should see this button called Camera Path Editor. You press on it and it will show up a new window. And uh, what you're going to do next is to press New. And uh, this is uh, all of the um, things that you will have. Now, first of all, if you want to have zooming, which on my controller is bonded on uh, Y and B buttons, on, on keyboards I figured out what zooming it is. So you press Shift and Page Up. And to uh, zoom out, you just press shift and page down. That's how it do uh, That's how it works. So yeah. But I'm good to use the controller because it's really faster than using shift and page down and up. So you see this window, and the first thing you need to do is to, well, you have an option. Either you can do manual uh, zoom zooming, or you can just disable it, and it's going to be automatically setting for each marker. Speaking of which, uh, put the replay controls at the end of this, so we will have 0, 0.000, and then press add marker. So once the marker is added, uh, press this button, and it will uh, jump straight to first second, and once we take a second uh, marker, we can actually see the camera. So uh, yeah, this is how it looks like. And now all you need to do is to uh, just do the stuff. So I'm going to press plus two, which is going to jump to another two seconds. And then all you do is to just place the camera 
whenever he's going to be flying in to have a, some sort of cinematic in it. So camera is going to be flying like this and it's going to be chasing the car when it's hidden. Now uh, the next thing is cutting between cameras. Now uh, some people do this thing, they, they usually go one second uh, ahead and uh, then they put a marker somewhere and they put this on the previous marker, cut to the next marker. But what I actually recently found out is that if you set um, the global time, which is this and this, uh, to the same global time of the previous marker, you can actually cut perfectly into the next um, marker. So uh, let me show this. So for example, I want to have uh, the previous marker to cut to this scene, which is going to have the car jump out all the um, fence uh, view. So uh, well, let's do it. So add marker and plus two. As you can see, now we have the uh, car right here. And now what you just do is you just continue walking as you would usually do. So uh, yeah, nothing to really explain. So let me finish this. Again, uh, I'm going to repeat, repeat it again. So, if you want to have a camera, a camera cut, uh, keep in mind that you have to keep the same global time. So you don't press any of these buttons. You don't actually move the uh, these things. And uh, the next thing you do is to just move the camera somewhere else and just put the marker. It's going to cut the camera. So I'm going to put right here and add marker, and it's going to cut the camera. Now again, if you want to have a camera cut, um, just keep the time, don't move anything, keep the same global time and you just move the camera to the front for example, and the add marker is going to again cut the camera. And once again, uh, this is going to be the last time I'm going to be saying this. Uh, if you want to cut the camera, blah blah blah, you just keep the same time, that's it. Really simple. Like this, and that's it, it's going to cut the camera. Now I finished with the camera, now let me explain the other features. So uh, the next thing you want to possibly have is to have probably better, let's say, uh, blur, the motion blur. So you have to go to render options and it's going to open the render components uh, app, which is all uh, related to rendering some uh, graphical features in this game. So if you want to have better motion blur, so you, you go here and it's and if motion blur is disabled for you you, get, you just go and enable it and then uh, if you want more you can put more if you want less you can put less I'm going to put some weight here now same thing with bloom except it's opposite way you just pull it back if you want more so we go here 
And if I want more blur, we can just pull it back. As you can see, the blur is uh, changing, as you can see. I like to keep it somewhere here, around. Now you can also change knee if you want to, but I'm not going to change that uh, that much, so uh, yeah. Another option you can have is to uh, change the graphics a little bit, so it's going to look like a bit different. Uh, there is the, the, the option called HDR, and if you go to Combine Pass, and uh, you um, go to Enabled and do this, it's going to change the graphic to something looking like this. Now, you, you can keep it if you want to, but I would prefer to just keep it as it was before, so... Yeah, it's all up to you if you want to use all these things. Now that we'll finish with the camera path tool, which is the main thing. The next thing I want to show you is to edit the uh, uh, cameras themselves. Now, you can actually change the rotations of those cameras, which is cool enough. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so, for example, I want to go here. All you do is to press on the marker and then you can select any, any of these except the scale because that's not going to work. And then you can rotate the camera like this. It might be not perfect but it's uh... But as an example it's going to work for you I guess. So you basically get me, you can actually edit the uh, rotation of the cameras and uh, even position if you want to. So uh, I edited a few cameras and uh, and to, to stop playing the camera, uh, you can press play and it's going to show how the camera is going to work. Now we can press stop and it's, it's going to stop the cameras. And the next thing we're going to do is to press play close editor. Which is a similar thing, but it closes the editor automatically once you press it. And uh, once we are here, to start recording, you pull up any recorder you like. And then the next thing you do is to press Alt U. And uh, this button will hide the user interface in the game. So uh, the only thing you will see is the game itself. So with that said, unpause the game and start recording. But uh, in my case I'm already recording, so we're going to see how the camera path is done. It got shots up right here, once like this, once like this. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now we're going to see if the rotation is applied to this. Yeah, here we go, the rotation is applied to this. And here's the code I was explaining before. It cut the camera because we use the same uh, time to do it. I think I uh, added too much of bloom actually. Shouldn't be doing that. But yeah, you probably get me. Uh, it's um, quite simple to actually do it uh, compared to what other people say. It's not really hard. As you can see. That was a cool transition if you saw it. And uh going to focus on the car and here we go so this is pretty much it and this is how you're going to be using the camera path I should I just showed now uh, keep in mind camera path is a bit buggy because the game itself is like um, in alpha so be careful with the uh, stuff in it because sometimes camera path can actually crush your game at some point because if you put more of this stuff uh, be prepared for some lagging of this so yeah, now that I showed everything, uh, I shall actually end the video. So, on that note, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I did help somebody to actually get a quick start on um, camera path in BeamNG. Okay, bye.